All right, guys, we are en route to an absolutely major accident. I'm going to be going the uh, the wrong way on the freeway here. They're just holding the they're holding the freeway for me. Thank you, LA County Fire. This is the best access. Traffic is horrible as it is usually en route to these jobs, but because all lanes are shut down, they said um, instead of getting off on the next exit and coming back westbound save time and expedite they're gonna allow me to back in there's a wrong way sign so once he gives me the green light I'll be uh, headed up all right there's my green light thank you sir oh this is always fun doing this I'm going the wrong way you get an adrenaline rush you can kill the flashers for now we'll need that Wow, that is a mess. Here we got a few vehicles. I'm here specifically for what, uh, yep, that's it. Oh, that is brutal. That is brutal, guys. Let me park and get out. Oh no, a tow truck. First things first is since I got all this shut down, there's Rudy in the Landau. I busted a quick U-turn, so I'm already facing westbound. That tow truck rear-ended that chassis, as you can see. Um, I know of them, man. I got word that the driver was extracted from this, no fatals. Hence why this is being posted. But let's take a good look to get my game plan. I gotta do this quick. Broke off the fifth wheel plate clean, dude. All right, from right here, cause it's empty, this is beautiful. I'm gonna park a little uh, more. Just rig to it normally. Once I get this free, they're gonna get the tow truck? Yeah, you gotta try, you gotta it. How's the driver on this one? It's right there. Oh, that's the driver? Dude, not a scratch on him. Who's that one? Look at it closely. Yeah, I, I can do this. The thing that sucks is before I, I, I lift up from there, it's wedged. That's going to be like a, a holding point, if that makes sense. I got to focus on this, but I'm just seeing how wedged it, it is in here. My fear is if I lift up on the rear of the chassis, the front of the tow truck comes up with me. It might be easy to just lift from the tow truck. But let's try my method. I'm going to rig through the... Uh, let's get all my stuff out. Outriggers out ASAP. So this is going to be, uh, on jobs like this, I like them for the sole reason is uh, this really tests your skill. You can read about towing and rigging and all that in, in classes, but real world experience and jobs like this are pretty unique. So the driver of the medium duty here, he's a pretty cool guy. I told him if I need to, if this thing comes up with me as I lift the chassis, He's going to turn his truck around and winch from the back of the flatbed. That's enough cable. All right, disconnected. Let's rotate the boom. Rudy, more than likely where you're at, you're going to drive the Lando to the right. We'll keep everything to the right. I'll rotate the chassis um, 180 degrees to put right on your bed, man. That way, while he works this, we can work that. It is a hot one today, guys. <clears throat> All right. Let me get my... Not yet. Let me get the chassis off first and see how this works. All right, let's get my rigging. All right, guys, this is a pretty hands-on thing. Very hard to keep recording. I already attached my frame grab hooks and I'm going to use those for the rear just because they're better secure uh, securement.
those are my Omega links. That's a good angle. All right, so back here. Oh, you know what? That's beautiful right there. Those holes, man. I like that there because there's. I'm gonna put the most amount of pressure in the rear to break this free. Everybody do this side too. Yeah. Yeah, come up with the so Rudy's using my grade 10 half inch Omega links. That's gonna be for the front, obviously. Now I gotta walk around and do it from this side. See how fast we are. Enrique's already hooked up here got his airline connected while we did this so if he has to drive forward that's good I gotta stand here to make sure I'm dead even wish me luck we start with the top looking now some pressure on the back
You guys want to stand clear a little bit just in case? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand clear, bro. See, now Ricky is up top. He's pulling that forward. Wow. Beautiful. Ugly, but beautiful. Not bad, bro. Not bad, not bad. One shot. One shot. The only thing that has me attached is this plug, really. Enrique, do you have brakes on that? You no, shot air? No, it has nothing. Go, can you go forward and, and kind of force it? it? Like two feet is all I need, so I have a clear shot. You leave it right there, Rudy. Enrique is going to drive forward. Okay, have him hold it there, Rudy. And see if we can... Uh, we, gotta get, we gotta take off that... Uh, Enrique's, Enrique's the tall one. Can he do that? What? Just put the green one. That's all I need is the green one. Pull it off the trailer, huh? Now pull it from right there because it's disconnected. It's completely broken. You see what I mean? Yeah, there you go. Perfect, man. Just untangle it. If you drop this line a little bit, we can unplug it from here. No, it's already... It's broken. Yeah, but it's still attached. No, not the green one, Enrique. Sure? Okay. Yeah. Look, see? Oh, okay. It's completely done, dude. All right. Hey, this thing's lightweight, dude. Empty chassis. Yeah. That was fast, huh? That was. Good job, man. Let me, uh, let me shoot my airline right, because I'm not shooting. You're good to work on it now, because Whoa. I'm going to start swinging. There you go. Ah. No, it's okay. I'll get it. I got you, Rudy. I got you. Okay. Rudy, get in the land. I'm going to swing it, okay? <clears throat> now that I got the front completely undone. Yep, this thing completely dislodged. Exactly what I wanted. Now we go in more with this side just to make sure. Yes, confirmed. I'm fully disconnected, Rudy. Huh? Do you have anyone blocking you? Oh, you're already no, there. there <laughs> what a cool crew. This is the, La, we call it the La Puente crew. Yeah, let me swing it over, man, and you're clear to back up, okay? All right. <clears throat> I already got the outriggers on the opposite side as well. So this will be done in one full sweep. This is why rotator is king. Hey, would you believe both drivers are fine? Can't believe it. Dude, the other driver's right there chilling on the curb. Wow. Right? This guy was extracted out, but I mean, there's normally on these ones, you, they would be a fatal, I think. I mean, you could tell how he was cushioned in here. He, no, yeah, it was a precautionary. Rudy told me that they had to uh, pull him, extract him out. Okay, that's high enough, guys. Let me make sure Rudy's on the other side. All right, Rudy's good. This is the other tow truck that got called for the that tow truck. Sanders towing has been a big help. If you guys were watching this, thank you. This part we do nice and slow. The way I rig this thing, um, all the weight, most of it is gonna be towards the rear. That's why you don't put your chains all the way in the back and in the front. That's gonna be horrible for you.
Now, as bad as this traffic is, and as much as people want to complain about overkill, you cannot compare the efficiency of having all the right equipment. Bro, you're officially clear, by the way. All right, I'm going to back up. The way I do it, I do it Until it's airborne and the scene is clear. Enrique, can you have Rudy drive forward? Thanks. fits smack dab dude perfectly on the 40 foot bed in fact i think rudy did a phenomenal job right on the money you know what rudy instead of me yeah instead of me spinning it and then trying to hold the correction back up like two feet that way there's barely any overhang right now we're at about a foot and a half That's all you need. Thank you, sir. What do you say, Rudy? how much for the overhang none non-existent yeah this thing's super crooked though what i can do is since the rear axle i mean this thing's all twisted i'm gonna let out with uh, the rear cable a little trick and push out the front one only That's all I needed. That looks perfect for the chain slots right here. <clears throat> I knew that was going to happen. The way we'll have to do it is we'll chain bind the rear first and we'll, we'll block this because the outriggers are done. Completely toast. Rudy, it's going to nosedive because of uh, the no landing gear. So do you want to block it or chain bind the rear first? Okay. How much wood do you have? I have I'll get some from... Uh... Okay, let me help you with the wood. All right, Rudy's going to see if the spade will go down. We're trying to find the best spot to block it. No, it's not. We can still put it there, though. Yeah, we can. Now let's do it. I kind of like your first idea. Right here is pretty good, huh? Okay. I'll throw them to you. Let me give you some from Hulk, okay?
And then with this little one, just for, uh, you know. Okay, I'm gonna let out. We don't even need it. Yeah, we don't. I still want it though, so let me get one more of my woods. Yeah, there you go. Ready? Yeah. Now we do the baby one. Uh, I gotta go up a little bit higher. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. If I put two more pieces of wood, I'm gonna go higher. There you go. See, by putting the chain binders in the back, it didn't allow it to drop all the way forward. The wood is extra for support as a solid base for transit. Um, yeah, I'm loving this. I might leave my chains on top just so it's easier to drop when we get to Ontario. Need help? Why did the blonde take a car door with her when she walked in the desert? So she could roll the window down when it gets hot. Oh. But um, all right. And then just a strap through, you're done, bro. Yeah. All right. Batman. So what I mean by leaving my chains up here is we're obviously not going to keep this. It's going to go to the customer's yard. I'm going to leave everything already here. So when I get to wherever I have to go to, uh, all my hookup points are already preset. And I just connect these. Clank, clank. I was with the straight ahead on the chassis and right in front of you. Right there behind the air tanks is good. Now by the time I put my truck away, Enrique, Rudy and I will 100% be ready to go. And because I U-turned back there, I'm already going westbound. check up his hookup these are called recovery toes you can do them the standard way so you would chain up underneath normally towards the frame and that is an ugly looking toe but it's how you do these good job bro yeah i'm just waiting for him Thank okay you. You. teamwork baby
we're done. I'm just gonna confirm with the officers if there's anything else they need. Thank you, Caltrons are here to uh, finish up the cleaning. And that's pretty much it. Once I move, they'll be able to sweep this up too. We got all the big pieces. Uh, just gotta give the address. We're going to Ontario. Alex confirmed we're going to Ontario. Okay. Well, he said it's in Tobuk, so uh, I'm gonna tell Enrique and let him know. Both tractor and the chassis. Make sure he knows. Who's uh, whose bin is that? Ah, Mark. Nice. That's my bin, is that your house? It's spinning. Drop it a little bit. Drive shaft. Hey, hold it. There you go. Hey, you're strong, Enrique. It's like you know what you're doing. Almost. Almost. Now he just plays dumb, but he's smart. He's been around the block. Actually, Good. I grew up on this block right here. On the other side of that wall. Nothing stripped? Right here? No. Good. Real clean. I'll follow you and Rudy. Uh, actually, I'll follow both of you. This is going to Ontario, Enrique. Okay. Alex got the address. Cool. Huh? That's good. By the way, this truck that Enrique drives, Unit 33, this used to be none other than Joe's truck. It looks very similar. They're both 50 tons. <clears throat> we're just gonna help Enrique secure that drive shaft and we're out of here. I'm gonna start pulling my truck out to uh, the on-ramp and uh, off-ramp. I'll get to you guys when we get to the drop site. And if I don't, for whatever reason, then peace out. All right, hey guys, just jumping in really quick to give um, an update. I mentioned there was no fatals earlier, which is true. I never post fatals on my channel in case you guys are new and watching. I know judging by the pictures, uh, the thumbnail and the video itself, it looked like a double fatal, but no, no fatals. But while the driver of the tow truck was uninjured, he was on scene walking around perfectly fine and got picked up. The female driver of the tractor, she actually did end up injured. The company... Uh, you'll see right here in this next scene when we dropped the chassis and everything in their yard They're the ones that told me that she was fine, but I spoke to someone there after the fact uh, My Instagram actually they saw my post and they did mention she had some Injuries to the bottom half of her from being in the cabin crushed I'm not sure the extent of that um, Hopefully just something simple or maybe even a broken leg, but wishing her a speedy recovery I also took the time to blur everything out on both the tow truck and the tractor itself so you might not even notice if I did a really good job until I just pointed it out but I never really like to put them on blast like that and I know it's probably gonna get litigated so uh, wishing everyone involved speedy recoveries and there's one more thing I want to bring up um, I haven't plugged this yet but I started the membership program on my YouTube close to a month ago and I'll throw up the list right now so far everyone who subscribed so Thank you guys, you guys are the best. Uh, we got to 100,000 subscribers just less than two months ago and it's already at like 120 right now. And the channel thing with the membership is just a new way to interact with the fans more. There's different levels, you get cool perks. Um, I've been doing a lot of posts, YouTube posts that are only available to those members. Uh, so I got some pushback when I posted that I was thinking of this the first time and it affects the channel in no way. I'm still going to put, put out this content every week. Two videos a week is my goal. Three if, you know, I have time. But there's things like this video, for example. I could post the unblurred version to those specific members. So you get cool perks like that. But just wanted to drop that out there. If you guys weren't familiar, you just... I don't even know how it works. I think you go to my channel and click membership, subscribe. But um, I'll let you get back to the video. And again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoy. Peace. All right, just had a quick conversation with Jeffrey. Went over our game plan at the drop site. They want it in this empty spot, so Rudy's gonna back in all the way. I'm going to lift off the chassis from the Landall. Rudy pulls out, I drop the chassis, and then Enrique drops the tractor.
Did I mention it's a hot one today? It's gonna be good right there. I'll wait till Rudy's uh, he's gonna back up more, align himself. So I pick up, uh, I got a good center of gravity like I did when I did the lift. More, more. Get him all the way at the end. <laughs> you can tell by how these are bad, they've been hit quite a few times. Good job, Rude Dog. Alright, now let me jump up there and start connecting my uh, stuff. Thank you, Rudy. Connect the, the green ones right there, right behind you. Look at this frame right here, man. This thing's buckled from every which way direction. And this is probably only the uh, fifth time in my life I've seen this. This is the fifth wheel plate. Ugh. Crazy, huh? Look, look at the fifth wheel plate. Well, to its credit, to its credit, it never came off the kingpin. Yep. How do you guys supposed to go there, though? Perfect. Can you reach both sides from there, Rudy? If so, I'll jump down and take off my, my free spool. This part should be so easy. All right, sir. Free spool is off. All right, blue side's good. White side's good. That sound you, you heard of the cables going fast, that's my idle, the high speed. We'll just take that off, squeeze in here, and then we'll do a nice controlled slow lift.
Where are you going? Well, this is Ontario, it's pretty windy. But all we're doing is a straight lift, a few feet, Rudy goes forward, bam. Clear there, oh yeah, by a long shot. Nice and slow. Then we do one side at a time. Once I get that back planted, I'll hold the front of it so they can crib it. Okay, let me lift up the front now that the back's gone and you want to just put a vertical like that, right? Yeah. All the way up front in the front middle, man, you'll be perfect. Watch your fingers. Good. Um, actually, um, can you move this side a little? Um, when they grab this one, they won't be able to do Yes. Like that? You can kind of see better how that rear axle is completely shifted. Okay. See if I'm standing straight. See how that rear one's facing inwards? It's actually rubbing. And if this looks wonky of why it's backwards, that was per request. That's why we left space back here. That forklift you see there in the bay all the way in the corner will come around on this. I lift it up while they work on the rear and they just uh, release the brakes and push it out. To be honest, so I think this is going to the scrap. It's past the point of repair. Once the integrity on the frame is done like this, uh, you never really want to, the repairs outweigh the, the repairs outweigh the, the risk. It'll never be the same, unfortunately. an interesting job made quick work out of this I'm gonna just put the boom behind me throw my outriggers and drive out of here because I got all my rigging done so Enrique can put the tractor in my spot it's 
a trip though, huh? When you seen that tow truck, you would have said for sure that driver was a fatal. Nope. I saw that post, I commented on it. He put it was a fatal. I told him no fatal, bro. I know this is gonna text that right now too. It's right on there. I hope you tell them that. I didn't want to be giving information I didn't know about. No, I commented on that post and I corrected them. I'm glad your driver's okay though. So these guys are the ones with the, uh, obviously the tractor and the chassis. Their driver, uh, she's okay. Obviously she had to be extracted. You can see right here where the fire department had to cut. You know what, how did the fire department extract her? Through the door? I thought they made an incision in the back, but that's obviously from the chassis or is that a, uh, uh, who knows. Show me your skills, Enrique. Yeah, I was just talking to him that it's a trip, but both drivers are okay. Oh, quick connect. Damn. There you go. How come I don't have one of those in Hulk? We don't cage brakes here. Yeah, that's bad, dude. We don't waste time caging brakes. All right, boss man, I'm out of here. Deuces. Hey, I'm hungry. Good hustle. <laughs> Where are you going? Did he give you back your wood? Yeah. I got my wood, too. Very smart. You know, I could learn a thing or two about the towing side. I'm so used to freaking lifting everything, dude. <laughs> or dragging. Yeah. <laughs> so props to all you guys out there in wreckers. I'm in my rotator, obviously, Hulk every day. I'm doing stuff like this, but little tricks like that, tapping into there to release the brakes and then set them by releasing there. Once the air runs out, the brakes uh, expand uh, the chambers. It's a cool little quick connect trick. So from what I understand, the, the, the third car involved, I think in the beginning of the video, I can't recall that there was a flatbed. That car was hit by uh, this driver and she was hit from the rear. I'm not sure if there was any other cars involved, but Hey, you what a mess. The straightened out? During the tow? Yeah. It was flipped forward, remember? Oh yeah, probably broke off the, the joints right here, the, yeah, the housing. Stuck right there. Let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, I'm sure you can. So this is okay, now I get it. This is how fire department extracted her. They took out the door. I thought that was because of the impact it buckled open. Could you imagine that being trapped in here? Needing the jaws of life to break you open. Crazy, dude. Right, I'm gonna finish putting my truck away, Enrique. Good job. Well, remember, guys, if you learn one thing, is these trucks cannot stop on a dime. Drive slow, safe, and be careful around CDL trucks. Isn't that right, Jeffy? Peace out, guys.